Hello, I'm Jennifer from Blacksmith 3D. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a Genesis 2 male texture set into a Genesis 3 male texture set. So to get started, I'm going to open up my texture transformer and our latest version for version 2 is 2.0.5.0. So you want to make sure you're on this version. You also want to make sure you're already registered, which I am. And then make sure your settings have your content folders at the highest level above your runtime. And I have some other ones here, but these are the, my two main ones. Make sure you add those. If you click add, it will let you browse to find them. And um, if you want to change them, you can also delete those by highlighting and hit delete. But once you've added them and you're done, then you can just close this window. And we're ready to begin by clicking next. And we're going to pick our transformation for today. By default, it starts at the top one, but we're going to just pick the Gen 2 to Gen 3 male. And we'll do the anatomy on a different day. So here, we're where we're going to select the files that we're going to convert. So I'm going to go to Add, and today I'm using P3 Designs Ashwin. And I've decided today maybe that I want to go on and do the the eye ray mats, but we could do the others if we'd like to. First thing we need to make sure we always do is pick the main skin. Some people call it main, some people call it default, some people call it full skin, some may call it here the complete, but that's what you want to be your master, so we're going to select that. I can't pick master yet, but once I add files I can, and it's um, this master file is very important because as you can see when we add the things like eyes the only thing that's really changing in these files are just the eyes so to make it work properly in DAS Studio we need to make sure that it's referencing properly the main full complete skin file so I'll add eyes 2 and 3 and let's see let's add face 2 and 3 and you can see there is a Jen's folder here for the anatomy, but it's best that the anatomy be done different than with the face because of the way that those work kind of uniquely on their own. So we'll do that on another tutorial on another day. But this gets us going here with our eyes, our face, and I want to make sure that this complete skin full default set is marked as my master file. And that's because of things like the eyes has, have a lot of blank information in them that it needs to know what master to reference. In this case, I do want to make sure that my master file is also converted. But say I had converted it already in the past and I'm just adding a new makeup that I want to convert, you would still need the master file there for the reference but you could skip the conversion of the master file for just doing the makeups if you had done them before. So now I'm ready to go and I click next and here is where my content folder for what I'm creating is going to be output to. Because I'm outputting to Genesis 3 I want to make sure that that's my DAS content folder but you can pick whichever folder you would like. And then here under next the preset files for the character, um, say if it's the pose files or materials for characters, whatever, it's by default texture transformer software is going to put that into the Genesis 3 mail, or excuse me, into the people's folder. But after that, it's kind of up to you where it goes and you can customize that how you wish. To keep with the standard of DAS Studio, I have typed in already the Genesis 3 mail and then the characters folder. But now I'm going to make my own folder that is the G2 Ashwin to my Gen 3 male and I'm just going to call it basic because these are a very basic kind of demo tutorial to show you how the master file works with things like the eyes or makeup or lips or something like that. For the texture files, by default, it's going to go into the runtime and texture, so I don't need to add that. I just need to put what I want to be customized there. And by default, all of the stuff in the back end that Texture Transformer does, I highly recommend leaving that as is so it can do what it needs to do properly. For the resolution setting, you have choices here. 
if it's something I'm going to be using, I want to make sure that it's at a good, high quality. Um, but depending on what you're doing with it, time-wise, you may not need that big of a file, so that's up to you. The Enhanced Filtering is new in version 2, and you can turn this completely off at zero or let it do halfway. But having it on helps to reduce some of those visual artifacts that you sometimes see between differences that exist between the two different figures that you're converting. And it does help, especially when you're doing the male anatomy, that that's a good idea to have set to 100. But you can play around with that and come up with what works best for you. So now we're ready to do our transformation, and I'm going to hit Next and then Transform. Now, even though we're doing five transformations, the master and the, the four extras, it will take some time to process because it's not just five maps that it's converting. It's also converting if there's bump maps or transparencies or displacements, um, specular maps, any of those are also being converted. So this process can take a little while. I hope you'll be patient and I'm not going to make you wait through it here for this demo, but I will be back with you when it's finished. Thanks. All right, we're back with Texture Transformer has finished converting the files from our Genesis 2 mail to our Genesis 3 mail. And this is the screen you'll see to where you can just close if you're done, or you can press next if you had another conversion that you were wanting to do or batch of files that you were wanting to do. If this had been Texture Transformer being used inside a blacksmith along the way, we would have also been able to put in some information to where at the end we could have opened it in Blacksmith 3D to see the results there in that software. But since we're using Texture Transformer, we'll just go over to our DAS Studio and look at the conversion process there. So here I've opened DAS Studio. Let me try and make sure you can see my screen well and I have already loaded the Genesis 3 mail since that's our conversion and I'm gonna go here under my people's folder in Genesis 3 to the folder that I gave it that special name of G2 Ashwin to my G3M basic and here you can see the complete mat so this has to be loaded first and you can see here where it changes to Ashwin and then here I have my face three that's the one with the light beard with goatee and here's the other face that's a very kind of clean cut with a mustache with maybe just a little bit of shadow going on you can also change the eyes we're not close up enough to really see those I could zoom in but you get the point here I just wanted to point out for an example here that if I had not done the master file and not had this complete one when I applied the face, all that you would get is a face with the rest of the body skin texture being white looking. So if you ever get that, you know that you need to go back and do your conversion batch again and make sure that you have your full default complete skin, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's the main one that loads everything set as your master first before you do face conversions or makeups or lips or eyes or things like that. And so that's it for this demonstration. I hope you've enjoyed it and find it useful. If you have anything specific you would like to know more information about or see a tutorial on, please feel free to email us at info at blacksmith3d.com and please watch for other texture transformation videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.